Capcom Fighting Collection on the PlayStation 4. Generously provided by the Maryland Library System. Normally I record uh, PlayStation 4 footage natively onto that console. I'm playing fighting games. So we're going to be playing at 60 frames a second, which means I got this game hooked up to my generic HDMI splitter. Video game footage is being captured at 60 frames a second on my laptop. And I got my headset here recording on the lap, recording the audio on my laptop instead of the PlayStation 4 controller. But I'm able to play on my TV with much less input lag than there would be on the laptop. Because this Vivitar HDMR, uh, HDI dongle I'm recording with has a lot of input lag. That's just how it is. There is a training mode for these. There is a training mode. So we'll be able to see each character's moves. Because I'm going to be playing Darkstalkers as Felicia. And then I'll be messing around with some of the other games just to kind of see how they play. I'll be doing other videos on the other games later, but this is my first Darkstalkers video. We'll get around to that in a second. We're going to be playing offline, of course. I'll show you some of the other features they got going on in this collection later. But this is Darkstalkers. And you get to see some of the other games they have. You can also switch between the English and Japanese versions, too, if you feel some kind of way about that. Ooh, Hyper Street Fighter 2. Um, let's see. That's the English version. So I guess we'll play as the English version. I mean, why not? But we have game settings, difficulty. We'll select that. Graphic content, or whatever. What mode select are we doing? Auto guard? That's cool. EX settings. Light reduction? I don't know what light reduction has anything to do with this. Heavy punches are on R2, R1, and R2, so that's fine. Special move can be automatically performed with the L1 button, which is really interesting. Because you might want to change that to do triple, to do a triple button presses. You can map these for individual characters? Oh, that's interesting. Well, we'll set the special moves. What I want to do is I want to see what special moves you can do with just a button press. Which makes the game way easier to do. Which makes any fighting game way easier to deal with. You can just do a special move with a button press. <laughs> don't get me started on that. I'm a huge fan of video games. You don't have to do control, wacky controller rotations to do special moves. Which are special moves which are useful. Like being able to perform a fireball with a button press makes things a lot easier. I wish more fighting games would do that. Because the idea is that if you can pull it off, it becomes a legitimate part of your strategy. But if you can't pull it off consistently, that hurts your ability to play the game at higher difficulty levels. So I'm not opposed to a button. I'm not opposed to making special moves less cumbersome to perform. Because if you can, if you guys can pull off the move, then then it eases it eases the uh, difficulty curve for people who are trying to practice their moves. So I'm a huge fan of that. Of course, I didn't have any of that growing up, so I'm not opposed to getting access to it now. Because I know how to do special moves. I just prefer pulling them off more easily. You know what I mean? Did I choose the wrong game? Yeah, I chose the wrong mode. Give me a second. We're going to the... You know, we are in the training mode. So, okay. I guess I, I thought I did something wrong. Oh, yeah. Wrong game. That was why. I chose the wrong game. So we're going to, like I said, here in this mode, we can choose between how fast we want the characters to move. We'll go Turbo 2. I did play this game when it launched in arcades. I think it was at the Sol de Italia back home. <laughs> it was either at the Sol, I think it was definitely at the Sol de Italia, because they had a Neo Geo machine right next to it, where I was playing uh, Ninja Combat and World Heroes back in the day. But I did play a little bit of Night Warriors, but I wasn't really deep into it like that. The Darkstalkers on the PlayStation 4, it's being played on the Capcom Fighting Game Collection. What's it actually called? Let me do a quick check. I can never remember. <laughs> yes, we're going back to... Oh, I didn't save any progress. The, the Capcom Fighting Collection on the PlayStation 4, generously provided by the Maryland Library System. This is going to be a... 
training video for Felicia. So we'll actually say hi to Felicia in this video. We have a training session here. And I turned off the stupid default filter. In fact, can you even see the default filter? There you can. Uh, we'll get back to that later. We'll play on the, this, the default difficulty level, so we'll be fine. Where are the other game settings? Free play, boot, boot display. Well, whatever. Go need all that light reduction. Return, reducing light intensity sounds good. Enable the secret characters. Choose whether to allow. It's, I guess that might be a balanced thing because he might be Dimitri might be unbalanced. And whether the rookie gets to be blocked by a crouching block. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, sounds like a uh, sounds like a feature that got updated. Sorry, I hit the microphone. I'm playing on a different headset than usual, but. There was a USB headset that I was using with a very unreliable connector, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my MPOW um, audio connector, see if that solves the problem. Yep, Darkstalkers. I guess we'll mess around with the Japanese version later, but I will play on Turbo 2 with Felicia training on both characters. And what's the other thing that we need? Okay, I don't like this stage. Uh, let's see. That's Felicia's stage, but the music kind of sucks. Uh, training menu. We're not going to spectate. Yeah, she's going to practice. You will be my stand. Okay, so the move list for Felicia. Let's get her normal moves out the way. Weak. Medium, strong punches. Weak, medium, hard kicks. No sliding move. She does have a crouching uppercut, which should be an anti-air, so that's good. No sliding moves for Felicia, to my knowledge. Uh, let's see. Special moves. All listed here. Uh, by the way, I should probably mention this. Light punch and kick, medium punch and kick, heavy punch and kick. Uh, the special move can be mapped to the L1 button. So the if you press L1, you will randomly perform a special move. There are a few variations to this. You can choose all the kicks, all the punches. I believe you can, all, you can also map to specific special moves that characters perform. Uh, where's Felicia, for instance? Again, it names the moves, but if you don't know her moves, you're gonna have to check the you're gonna have to check the move list to make sure you know what these moves are called. You can map the L1 button to a specific move if you wish. I'm actually not. A, I'm actually kind of a fan of that. But I don't think you can uh, change or you can change the type of the special moves. You can change whether it's a light, medium, or heavy version of that special move. So that's a very handy feature. In fact, there is a. Street Fighter 2 game included on this Capcom fighting collection where that would be extremely useful. Uh, Lord Rapta. John Talbane. Dimitri. And we're going to map to the special move. Um, EX move is useful because when your special attack meter is full on the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to unleash a special move while it's flashing. So you might want to keep that handy as like a finishing combo. Because Felicia, for instance, has an EX move that does 49% damage if it connects. In, on the ground. If it connects to the air, it does basically nothing. But if it connects on the ground, it will do 49... It will, do, it will take off 49% of the enemy's health bar. So if you can if you can connect with the move and then use that as the finisher, you can take off half their health as part of a combo if you know what you're doing. So if a, if a person's dizzy or you if a person is dizzy or you're punishing them, you can pull that off to take off half their health. So I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of move. I'm a big fan of performing complex moves with single button presses in specific situations. It makes it makes games easy. It makes the um, Learning curve a lot easier to deal with. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. I've got to show you the moves. Okay, panic nail. Those are throw moves. The tumble cat's a throw move. The flip cat is an air throw. The rolling buckler is a. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the rolling buckler is a. How is it? It's a. It's a. 
it's a move where you where you spin along the ground, like it's not the hedgehog. Uh, it's a yoga. It's a yoga forward. So it's a yoga. It's a yoga punch, half circle forward, like that. So this is the weak version, which goes halfway across the screen. The medium version goes three quarters of the way across the screen. And the heavy version is fast, and it goes the entire length of the screen. Once you make contact, you can finish it off with a combo. Like that. You finish it off with a dragon punch. If you press a button after contact, you can finish it off with a special move like that. Like a dragon punch. Which I'm a fan of. Uh, let's see. Uh, reverse fireball or reverse yoga punch does a bouncing ball. That's the weak version. That's the strong version. And that's the hard version. Let me turn off that special meter. Give me a second. Training menu. Special gauge. Normal's fine. Base normal's fine. All right. Turn off the thrower cover. Move. Uh, sand splash is a forward is a fireball kick. That light, medium. That's heavy. Uh, let's see. You can also press away in the special attack button, which is away in L1 for that. Uh, let's see. Delta kick. It's a reverse dragon kick. Back, down, down, back. That's the weak version. That's the medium version. And that's the hard version. Pay no attention to the special meter. Because when my character's flashing pink like that, it's performing a powered up version of that special move. Which might do more damage or go further. You can also press hold down and press L1 for the delta kick. You just want to pull it off. If you want to use the L1 button to pull it off. Uh, delta kick, a Hellcat. It's a reverse... It's a reverse yoga punch. It's a reverse yoga kick with two kick buttons. I think that seems to be a waste of time. Press tor hold toward and press L1. That's what the Hellcat is. That's all you need to know about that. It's for a lot of damage, in case you're wondering. The special version hits for 51 damage. Okay, so that move does it takes off at least a third of their health. That's fine. Uh, move Not a lot of moves here. Dancing Flash. Uh, when your special attack meter is completely full, you can press the EX attack button. So press L2. That's what that move is. It's just an ultimate attack. Okay, that's all you really need to know for Felicia. Uh, so we'll change characters and we'll do some training. Did I choose something wrong? Yeah, I did. I need the dummy training. Dummy, CPU, change character. We'll switch into England. We'll see how it goes. Let's see if the music's any better. John Talbane stage, huh? All right, practice. It's nothing else you can you can practice against a harder version of the character to see what moves she pulls off on a regular basis. Yes, it's John Talbane stage with all the wolves. The animation in this game was always pretty good. Like for the time, the animation like it wasn't like on an Earthworm Jim level, but it was always very like it wasn't like this wasn't like Earthworm Jim level animation, but. Putting all putting this much animation into a non Street Fighter two game was a big deal at the time. The characters had a lot of personality, so it was it was easy to be a fan of this game when it came out for that reason alone. Had a lot of personality. You could argue this game had a way more personality than something like something like a uh, something like Street Fighter two though. 
Six button fighter with better animation than Street Fighter 2 and more personality. Like, I can understand the appeal, but. I, was, I, I never got a chance to play much of this game because it never came out on the Super NES. I think. I, I don't. I think I used to own this on the Sega Saturn. But I didn't. Play, I didn't spend enough time playing it. I also owned this game on the PSP, and I never got a chance to play it very much because that controller was not that controller was not particularly good for uh, fighting games. And doing quarter circle of motions is not very good on the, on the PSP. PSP arguably was not a particularly good system for fighting games. This music is really underwhelming, by the way. Ah, she got me. I tried to do the I tried to do the EX attack and she uh, countered it with a little cat scratch. It's a nice keep away move, all things considered. Yeah, you can pull it off. Got her. There you go. Took off half her health. Okay, so um, let's go out. So we'll do some real training with Felicia. We won't do a whole long video with it. We'll do some real training with Felicia in just a second. Let's do some actual fighting with Felicia this time. Uh, difficult to level 4, attack power is... What's the default? Default. First to 2, max rounds 4. It's perfect. Okay. EX settings. Whatever that even means. No extra input on the Dimitri's Batsman. Okay. So, difficult to level 4. Let's see how we do. We're not going to do a whole playthrough. We'll do that later. Remember, this is a research stream. Of a game I haven't played since it launched in arcades. So there you go. So I want to say I did play... Remember, I did play this game on the PlayStation Portable, right? Again, I, that doesn't count. If we tried doing a quarter circle... If we tried doing a quarter circle forward on a PlayStation Portable controller? On a D-pad? Or, or even the analog nub. It was a joke. I don't have to tell you. I've always been kind of... I've always been, I've always, I've always been kind of ambivalent about these... CPS three, what would you call these? The CPS three games. Okay, so we got Felicia here. We are difficult to level four, so we'll see how we do. But yeah, I've always been somewhat ambivalent about the look of some of these games because for some reason this picture looks washed out. Like the colors just seem washed out. Like in Street Fighter Alpha, that always bugged me. Street Fighter, I always thought Street Fighter Alpha was kind of like bad use of color in that game, and I don't know why. There's an anti air, careful. Okay, so a yoga so a yoga so a yoga flame. Yeah, yoga fireball will help you yeah, will help you get underneath that. A reverse yoga flame will have you bounce like that. I can work on my uh, what do you call it? My delta kick. That's a reverse dragon punch. Yeah, reverse dragon punch to do the delta kick. Remember I have an anti air. Oh, she has air. Yeah, she has fireballs in the air. That's always going to be a problem. <laughs> like Akuma. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. She has those Akuma fireballs. That's going to be a problem. Crap. Got her. Ah, she broke my. She broke my hold. Let's hit the button. Darn it! Try to hit her with the EX attack. I tried to hit her with that EX attack. I don't know. Fighting Morgan at the beginning is like fighting Ryu at the beginning of Street Fighter 2. It's it's a bad scene. It's not going to go well for me. <laughs> I could spend half an hour just trying to get past Morgan. <laughs> it's probably the reason I didn't play this game very much. <laughs> I always got a bunch of bad dice rolls. <laughs> Like, that was always Morgan's bid, is that she was for, like, the expert players, right? That wasn't Morgan and Dimitri that were for the expert players? I forget. I mean, some people were probably pretty good with every character, but Morgan was apparently, like, overpowered. 
because she had she had she had fire, she had projectiles and dragon punches. So she's basically the Ryu of this game. In a, in a way, she's the Ryu of this game. We'll talk about the cartoon show later. <laughs> I can't do the bounce. She should probably she should probably just roll underneath. Hotter. Well, I think I hit. I think I hit the L two button. Whoops. Lock. I do my combo. Ah, I tried to do the finisher. But that's okay. I tried to do the um EX finisher. That's okay. Remember that special meter at the bottom left hand corner of the screen is mine. So if it's flashing, that means I can press the L two button for the EX finisher. It it takes off half her health, so I try to keep it hand try to keep it handy for a nice turnaround. I'm not doing well. Crap. And she has a and she has a yeah. Did you see that? She has a char She has a jumping forward. What'd you call that? That's some pretty sick zone control on this lady. <laughs> That's why the experts love her, I guess. Yeah, she has an anti-air with the dragon punch. She has that move where she she lunges forward. Are there any Street Fighter Two characters with a move like that? Because it's not. I guess it's kind of a. I guess you can call it a body projectile. So she has body projectiles and actual fireball projectiles. <laughs> so imagine if Ken or Ryu had a body projectile attack. <laughs> it's a bit much. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo all this. We'll see how it goes. I'm sort of curious. Again, I'm, I am sort of curious about the art direction for this game. About the use of color they have here. I, I, guess, I, I, guess, I, think it should, I guess I think the game should pop more than it does. Even though it's a pretty... It was, even though it's a well-drawn game. I was always kind of weird about the use of color they had in this game. I never understood why. I missed. I also had an EX attack and I missed on it. We almost got a jumping move I just did. I don't know. Yeah. Got her in midair. That was my finisher. Got her. You might have a corner trap. And I gotta see if I have a corner trap so I can kind of keep her, keep her pinned against the screen. We'll see what happens. To it. Again, I have, I have an, I have, a, I have a crouching uppercut. That's really my only anti air. Yeah, she has like three anti airs and a dragon punch. <laughs> so that can't go well. See, she got over me. She got over. She, she got over my crouching attack. She got over my crouching block. That was the problem. She jumped over my turtle. Ah, crap. Ah, see? Couldn't do my EX finisher. So I'm hosed again. I probably got I want to try one more time. I'm going to cancel out of it. Oh well. <laughs> I don't mind losing. <laughs> I haven't like I said, I haven't played this game in like twenty five years. I mean, help me out, folks. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> like I play a lot of Street Fighter two, but a lot of people like a lot of people who know Street Fighter two needed a character they can really jump into and Felicia is not that character. She may she she's the Chun Li of this game. She does not play like Chun Li. She has too many core circle moves. She's not a charge character, let's just put it that way. You can't just hold back and hold down. You can't just hold down back and do well. That must have been an EX move. <laughs> that must have been an EX move she pulled on me. <sighs> well, I, te I tend to believe the X-Men games looked better than this. Although this one's obviously more original. You can kind of see, you can kind of see the uh, with the with the quality of the art here, like it's far more cartoonish. 
So you can see they're going for a more comic book style here. So you can kind of see the uh, foundation being laid for like a, for like the X Men games and the Marvel and the Marvel games. So it might be time to back out. So I'll, I'll switch to a different character. The difficulty level seems fine. It might get a lot harder. I don't know. He didn't bother to use initials, just Capcom. <laughs> didn't even bother to use the initials of the people who made the game, huh? Um, uh, what's her name? Um, the lady from Kingdom Hearts. She, this woman did the soundtrack to Kingdom Hearts. She did not work on this game, I don't think. I can't believe I'm blanking on her name. Uh, the lady who did Kingdom Hearts and Legend of Mana and all those games. Uh, she, um, I know she worked on most most of the music in Street Fighter Two. Like, I think, uh, Dolcine stage, possibly Zangief stage, I want to say Blanca stage. I don't know, I don't know if she did, I think she did Chun Lee as well. I don't know if she did Ryu's music. Not Yuzo Koshiro. I can't, I'm totally blanking on the lady's name, gosh darn it. I thought an EDF, but my mind is really warped right now. Okay, I didn't mean to choose that. Gotta back it out now. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. My mind wandered, and I wasn't paying attention to the character select screen. So we'll give it five more minutes. We'll see how it goes. Why am I blanking on her name? Yuko. Yuko, right? God. Such a doofus. You know who I'm talking about. If you're listening, if you're watching this channel, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Everyone knows the lady who did Kingdom Hearts. Well, got Bisham on this time. <laughs> Bish Bucks. <laughs> the big lurch. Right, that's a DC radio reference. Don't worry about it. <laughs> there we go. He didn't, he didn't break that. Morgan broke that pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, I blocked it. So again, that EX move is basically a finisher. Once you make contact, unleash that. Don't waste your time on a block or a whiff. Or if the enemy's in midair. Yeah, fireball motion. Yeah, whiffed on it. I wasted that special attack on a cat scratch. <laughs> a sand scratch. Oh well. Crap! Get over here! Didn't know he could do that, by the way. I want... There are any blocks. It wasn't exactly stunned or anything. This guy's way easier than Morgan, so I appreciate that. Try to do a three-hit combo. That didn't work. One thing I think I can do the dragon punch even if he does even if he blocks it. Like even if he yeah, wow, almost got him. Even if he blocks that ball, that bouncing ball, I think I can still do the dragon punch. So it might be a way to cheese him. It might be the way to whittle off some more health. So keep that in mind. Here we go. Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! I took off half his health. Wah, he has an anti-air. Of course the guy with the sword is an anti-air. Does, does, does he have a thrust or a body projectile, I guess is the question. So I took off half his health and the AI freaked out. I need to play some keep away. Ah, couldn't do my special. I think he blocked my special. Ah, come on. I can beat this doofus. We'll give it one more chance. Maybe one more video. Yeah, one more fight. I can beat this guy. This guy seems way more manageable than, than uh, Morgan. 
Yeah, Morgan's gonna be the Ryu of this game. I guess I, guess I thought Dimitri was supposed to be the Ryu of this game. Which is arguably one of the problems people probably have with this game, is that from all the thematic, you know, innovation, for all of the thematic, you know, imagination this game had, it's played a lot like a regular street fight, a regular six button Capcom fighter. So it's kind of interesting to kind of see where they went with it, but it kind of played a lot like a Street Fighter 2 game. So if you were expecting an evolution of Street Fighter 2, you didn't really get it. Especially after a uh, whoops. That is an inappropriate image. So um I think, yeah, I tend to believe that after Super Street Fighter 2 uh, Turbo, maybe people were... Kind of, although this game came out before Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I want to say. Maybe about like six months, right? I forget which game came first. Yes, yeah, a quick way to build the special meters with the cat scratch. Missed. Yeah, I whiffed. Can you do a whoop? <laughs> That was not good. That was not good. Now I got my butt kicked. We'll give it one more try. I was doing way better before. I don't know what I was. I don't know what strategy I employed that was way more useful. I mean, yeah, the idea of having the whole the whole fantasy cartoon vibe of this game was supposed to kind of. Like, liberate the gameplay a bit more than Street Fighter 2 allows. Because there's an argument to be made that Street Fighter 2 got a bit wacky at the. They got a bit wacky with being somewhat semi realistic, I guess. They got me with that. So, this game says, though, what? They're all supernatural. So, of course, everyone can shoot fireballs. <laughs> everyone can teleport, you know? You don't have to do with the wackiness of Stealth Steam or sumo wrestlers who can teleport themselves across the screen. Got him. He's not dead, but he's almost there. Yeah, I got the jump in combo to finish them off. That's how you do that. That's how you come back. Come back, Catwoman. Brat back. Only small. Ah! Took off two thirds of my health <laughs> with all that crap. Let's do a little keep away. Got him. So when I so when I got the special attack meter filled up. Ah, jeez. He got me before I can get it off. <laughs> yep. I tried to do the keep away. Yeah, he got over it. That was the problem. So when that meter is full, don't do the cat scratch. How did he get me? That was a two hitter. <laughs> yeah, that, cat, that special cat scratch is a two hitter. Got him. Back to the keep away. Got him. Didn't kill him, though. Can't try to cheese him. They got me, God. All right, all right. That's it. I'm calling it. All right. This game still got a bit of meat on it, so we'll practice a bit later. It's a shame, really. So I was recording this second. The first half of the video was recorded with my um, what is it? Those regular headsets, the cheap headsets, and I got the Philips headsets for the audio here. Uh, recorded through the MPOW USB adapter. With Avatar USB dongles recording this game at 720p, 60 frames a second into my dual core laptop. Uh, Windows 11 camera app. So we'll come back and play more of this game. Darkstalkers, difficulty level 4 out of 7. It's default difficulty level with Felicia.